Hey, what's up everybody? Happy New Year. Danny McClarty here. Alright, so last year when I first moved back, to, back from California to Illinois, I gave you a little tour of my basement where I was training people out of. And since then, I've, um, there's been a lot of changes. I'm currently in a new facility and I've had a couple of my out-of-town friends ask me for a video to update uh, you and them what the facility current looks like. So I will do that in a second. I'll take my video camera around and just show you what it looks like. Uh, before I do that, just a little background. Uh, my good friend Rich, um, who I've been training, owns a facility here in downtown Rockton and currently he's not sure what he's going to do with the facility yet as far as uh, what business he's going to run out of it. So he said, hey, until he figures it out and I get to my final uh, destination, my final location uh, to train, I can go ahead and use his space. So I was very fortunate and I appreciate very much for him giving me this opportunity. Anyway, he told me in order to train here, uh, he would let me do it under one condition and that's when I had to paint the walls because the walls were absolutely atro atrocious, the spongy green. I don't look like some devil worshiping weird looking walls in here. So luckily my dad, who used to paint in the summer when he was uh, not teaching, uh, has a lot of painting experience and thank God for him because without him I don't know what I would be doing with all his handyman work. So anyway, he painted the place and got it up to, to Rich's standards and I think uh, it looks much better. So uh, with that said, I will go ahead and give you a little quick tour. So here we go. Alright, so this building is over a hundred years old. It's pretty cool though. It's got a lot of character. When you first walk in, you come in those doors, come up the steps, take a quick left, and here I have my training sheets for my uh, clients coming in. Here's one, two, three, for example, right there. I got a group of three coming in in a little bit to start their training session. Then you come right through these doors and enter, enter the facility. Again, this is not designed for training, um, but it's a big open space, so we made it work, and it's, it's been great as my in-between spot. All right, so I got the mats here. I got a... Uh, weighted chains here for dipping a dipping belt so I can do or me or my clients can do uh, weighted dips or weighted chin ups over this way don't have a whole lot of medicine balls because I can't really throw them too hard in this facility right now so I'll add medicine balls as when I get to a, a different location down the line still have my trap bar with the bumper plates a few Swiss balls or stability balls whatever you want to call them some kettlebells dumbbells the ad adjustable dumbbells which are great a few different benches, a couple that are incline, decline, flat bench. Um, the vacuum there, that's actually not for training. That's for me to get my cleaning on as soon as I conclude this video. So I got to do that. Got the bands up on the squat rack. Got a bunch of bands here. Got some jungle gym uh, straps right there to go along with the squ uh, squat rack. Some bail slides. Plates, barbells, over this way you'll see all my foam rolling equipment. Got some really hard ones, some medium ones, some not so hard ones. Uh, at the top of that little black one there you can see the ab wheel for some ab work. Um, those blue ones are fat grips for some grip work as, long, as well as the lacrosse balls on top of the fat grips for some soft tissue work. Over in the corner here you'll see the keg. When I first brought that in my clients were kind of excited but Unfortunately for some of them, it's not what they thought it was for. It's just a conditioning tool. So we'll get to that eventually, but that is not to drink beer out of. Not in this location anyway. All right, moving along. The battling ropes connected to the adjustable weights. Always a favorite conditioning tool for my clients. Yeah, right, they hate it, but they love it at the same time. Squat rack number two with a TRX a suspension trainer on it. I actually think I like the jungle gym more. It gives you a little more freedom. I like them both. They're both awesome, but if I had to choose one, I'd probably go with the jungle gym over the TRX. More bang bands hanging from the squat rack. I prefer this squat rack. It's got the monkey bars for different chin-up grips and pull-ups and whatnot. Um, recently, I got an adjustable step, so you can do step-ups some plyometric work. You can do box um, squats, etc. And I got a second one over there as well. So yeah, I love the chains. I've used those for many different exercises now. And it's definitely a great tool to incorporate here for myself and the people I train. Uh, we use this quite a bit 
get a little boxing for some conditioning. In this little corner there, you'll see some cones for some agility drills or some fat loss conditioning stuff we do either uh, within our training session or at the boot camps that I run. Boxing gloves. Recently just got a weighted vest, which is also a great tool to incorporate for different exercises. Got the heavy rope right there, which is very tough for conditioning. Regular old jump rope. Not too long ago, maybe, I don't know, a month ago or so, we got, got the uh, slide board in, which is always another crowd favorite. Um, right here, which I really like, is it's got a glute ham raise. So one of the best hamstring exercises you can do. Gets the lower back and glutes a little bit, but mainly just a great hamstring exercise. All right, so then got the uh, Hampton Thick Bar Pad for hip thrusts. Some people prefer prefer the uh, Air X Pad over their pelvis when they're doing hip thrusts, and you can use the Air X Pad for a few different things. So we got those as well. Up on the wall by the picture that painting that was already here. My dad did not do that. That painting was here, and we got here. Got the Theracane for some soft tissue work. And I think that's the main, the main um, part of the facility. So there it is. Maybe I'll do one of these year-round reviews, year-end reviews each year to see how things progress over the years. So my out-of-town friends and those have not that have not quite checked out my place yet. There it is. All right, let's have a great new year. Talk to you later. Bye.